Hey, Beetle. Hey, Rama. Hi, Cindy Paisu. Sorry for being late. Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Yay. Give me one second. I will do the. Share. Amazing agendas. Can you see my screen? Yes. Oh, and recording's on, so I'll just say, welcome everyone to the high pleasure cacti maintainers meeting. Please abide by the antitrust policy notice and the high pleasure code of conduct, which you can find linked to on the agenda document. And with that said, documentation is the thing we are here to discuss. Uh, before we go there, just a couple of uh, quick things I want to get out of the way. Okay. Uh, Idru, uh, do you uh, have the original for that uh, diagram that you uh, linked to the other day? Uh, which one are you talking about? Sorry. Uh, if you look at Discord, that uh, I have the link there. The discounted asset trade image PNG. Oh, probably if, if it's not in the... GitHub, I have to a little bit uh, look around to find that one. But wait, some discount of citray image. Oh, image has only. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Image lies here. Uh, the original is also there somewhere in the, uh, in the GitHub. Original, I think original is uh, in PowerPoint or something like that. So I have right. to. Uh, look into my local or, or uh, corporate folder. So uh, give me uh, um, some time to uh, find that one. And sure. uh, if you find that one, I'll, I'll tell you that, about that. Thank you. Okay, okay. So, uh, thanks for that. Uh, the other thing is uh, there's a uh, Sandeep opened a small PR, so it's a very minor thing. I proved it. Uh, can either of you guys quickly... Peter also, Peter also just approved, I just saw. Oh, Peter also just approved. Okay. okay thank yeah. you. I approved it this morning, I think, okay. or last yeah, night, yeah. sometime. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. I didn't check the status. No problem. Okay. We can move to uh, documentation then. So... Okay. Yeah, so where uh, uh, there was a particular site and a particular format where we were supposed to publish documentation, right? Mm, there's recommendations, but there isn't actually anything mandated by the TOC. It's just best practices, which yeah, I, I agree we should follow. But also, if we have a good reason not to, then we can just do that. Okay, let me just quickly send you a link. Are you putting it in the Zoom chat or Discord? Uh, Zoom chat. Okay. Yeah, I know this one. Right, so uh, we have to I think if you click on the get started, what we have there, this is what we have to import and put inside a, a, a larger set of documentation on around cacti. Mm -hmm. So there's a few things that uh, we need to change inside here as well. Uh, but I need to first have the packages up so we can then run some tests and then make some changes in the tutorial instructions. So how should we go about that? My idea was that 
menus or tree structures mm -hmm. the same way that directories are tree structures. So we could just do for now uh, the the all in one kind of merge with there being a top page in the documentation that says, hey, this is Cacti. It is at the moment or for now, it's consisting of two larger components or component libraries or whatever you want to call it. as uh, the old Cactus code and Weaver code. And so there's two menu items, Cactus and Weaver. And then basically what you see right here, this entire menu structure is what goes under the Weaver menu item and whatever we have on the other one, which is the Cactus read the docs.io thing can go under another one. And, and then we can slowly after that, we can start actually changing the documentation piece by piece, but at least this will get us into the common website, the common structure. So it will be a big step, even though we will not have updated the documentation itself. It will be more of a, an administrative change to begin with, but it will still be a huge diff because we will have to move probably both of the the entire documentation, both of those will have to be moved to some other directory or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's my idea. If if someone has a better idea, I'm all for it. This is what I came up with as a first step. Nope, I, that's kind of my idea as well. I would, I think we can just add a third, just third high level menu item saying uh, uh, integrated system or or whatever, and uh, uh, have the our roadmap uh, ideas there, including the, the integrated architecture uh, diagram that we came up with. Yeah. Oh, good point. We yeah. already worked on that, so we should put that in the common structure. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Uh, well, actually, I, I liked your idea, but I, I have one question about the, the timing, because is it okay to just say there are two documents here and, and uh, ask uh hyperledger to agree that it can be shipped as uh version 2.0.0 or do we have to uh clean them up before releasing the version 2. we should clean it up a little more before we release the ga like the final 2.0 okay and it that doesn't is have what to be we are... perfect but yeah, sorry, sorry, go ahead, Rama. No, please finish it. So, yeah, it, it does have to make sense. As in, <laughs> yes. if if you really just have two big, complete, seemingly completely independent sets of documentation, then people will get super confused. So we do have to eliminate at least some of that. I don't think the TOC would nitpick too much on it, but it is a very reasonable request if they ask it, which I think they should or would for us to consolidate so that for anyone who comes in fresh, who doesn't have the history of what Weaver is or was, what Cactus was, they should still be able to understand what this whole thing is. As, as long as we adhere to that, uh, I think smaller like duplications or extra information that wasn't strictly necessary because it's documented somewhere else or whatever, I don't think those things matter too much. It just has to not confuse okay, people who yeah. are first looking at it. Okay. Yep. Thanks. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. Uh, about the G itself, uh, do you think uh, when we have that, and also at the time uh, I'm expecting we can uh, come up with that uh, example that we can show uh, can be triggered into different modes using uh, two different sets of components? Um, can we then uh, make a pitch for graduation? 
Yeah, if we have working examples and we have the artifacts published and they all work and uh, we have the tutorials or the examples working with those published artifacts so that if someone wants to actually do it and implement it, they can and they don't have to copy paste the entire frameworks repository just to get it done. Then I think we are at the point where we can apply for graduation. But it's, it is important that it's a framework with reusable components that you can use. So I want us not to encourage people to just copy paste the entire source code because I've seen people who try to do that because for some reason they just want the mono repo and they want everything and they don't want to create their own project from scratch. Uh, but then it doesn't work the way you'd think it is because instead of installing the dependencies from the published sources, from the published uh, repositories like NPM and, uh, and the Rust Crate registry, instead people just end up building their own project within the source code of the framework. So I think that's the big uh, litmus test of whether it's actually ready for usage or not, as if if you can build things with it without having to copy paste the entire repository. Okay, I get what you're saying. I, I think we haven't had the problem because we have, we have actually used this. Uh, people have used uh, Weaver publish packages in uh, some projects. Uh, there was. Uh, the one that you've heard me mention before, the one we uh, did with uh, Bank of France and HSBC. And uh, there's another one that's ongoing, which uh, hopefully we can share sometime over the summer. It's getting, it's getting towards its conclusion. Um, so I think, uh, yeah, what we want to do uh, is uh, just uh, show that you can do that through Cacti as well. So uh, at least yeah. for people who have been using Weaver in the past. So, okay, let's, uh, I will, uh, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll work on the example and uh, let's try to get that, let's try to get one example together. No? That that will be a big, big, big step. Um, on, on that, actually, uh, did you see my, I don't know if you got a chance to see my uh, message last night about uh, Quilt and ILP. Uh, there's a guy, a PhD student in Italy who emailed the TOC saying, uh, asking about Quilt, which has been, mm -hmm. uh, which was sunset sometime in 21. The last commit I saw there was in February 21. And mm -hmm. uh, so I was wondering uh, if that guy is interested. And I replied to him accordingly. You, you can probably see the email. Uh, maybe try and get that code uh, within uh, Cacti. I think that would be, that'd be good. Because we have a ILP is one of the uh, the, the things that uh, the, the sort of it's not exactly standard, but it's a uh, it's a kind of standardized uh, protocol that people use uh, for interoperability. And uh, I think it'd be good to have something uh, representing ILP within within Cacti because we are like a broad family of Protocol, right? I think it's a good idea. The only question I have is if we do bring that code in, who will maintain it? That's a good uh, question. And if Matteo is willing to do it, then we can uh, we can have him. Otherwise, okay. yeah, we, we don't need to deal with this question like right now. It's uh, I just raised mm -hmm. this. If, if Matteo wants to, if he's interested, he can reach out to us and we can we can talk to him about yeah. it. Yeah, if if anyone is if there's literally anyone out there who puts their hand up and say, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna maintain that, then that's it. You have my vote, they should bring it in as is, and then we can figure out the rest later. I think uh, if he because code already exists within Quilt, I guess uh, what should we do? It's like what other people are doing, right? The Ursa is being imported to Iroha and uh there's something else that are being, being ported. Uh, we need the TOC's permission to get the code from there to here if, uh, if we are so inclined to do so. Honestly, we might 
not even need a TLC's permission, but I think it's just uh, polite to to kind of say it before we do anything, you know, say, hey, we're going to do this. And is the quilt maintainers, like the old quilt maintainers, are they on board or or do they not care? Or just so that if someone has a problem with it, then they can voice it. But I don't see why they would have a problem. And also, even if they do, like, I don't think they can actually do anything about it. If if there's <laughs> someone else out there who will maintain it yeah, and they want to maintain it under cacti, it's all Apache 2 anyway. So no one really owns it that way. So we can do what we want. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hey, Idru, I'm also done. Uh, I didn't have anything else. I think we've okay. kind of covered what you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, shoot. I also have another meeting. Uh, I can I can stay for a few more minutes. It's not a big deal if I'm late. But if uh, well, I mean if you're done, then we're done. Then it's good. Just wanted a quick uh, like uh, where do we uh, port it? Do you uh, like uh, the Weaver docs are right now under we publishing it to Docusaurus. So mm -hmm. where would we publish the joint documentation? Well, I would vote for either the one that Tracy recommends in the best practices mm -hmm. or the read the docs thing, just because both of those support, I think that both of those support uh, the versioning. So you can select on a drop down if you want to see the documentation for 1.0 or 2.0 or 1.1.5 or whatever. And I think that's important because there's going to be, once people, people start using it, a lot of them just won't upgrade. And then they will want to have access to the older documentation as well. Okay. You have a preference between the two? Uh, I mean, if you're going to rebuild it from scratch anyway, we might as well just do the one that's recommended. Uh, the The one from Tracy. Okay. Because uh, we e either way, we are going to have to move everything around. It's going to be a big, huge pull request, even if we don't actually change much in the text of the documentation. So then it's a good time to make a drastic change like that. And then it's good because we're following the recommendations. Makes sense. Okay, let's go with that. Cool. All right, then if nothing else, um, thanks for joining. Sorry I was late, uh, and I'll talk to you next time. See you. Bye. Bye-bye.